Hey guys, I hope you all are having a good week, getting out there and playing some. This week I wanted to talk a little bit about the Cypher um, by Prolite because I feel like not a lot of people use it and that just blows my mind. Um, I was first introduced to it I think in 2018 um, and that's what I've been primarily using since somebody put it in my hand. Um, I was lucky enough at the US Open in 2019 to be able to do a paddle review video with Pickleball Central, um, but I thought I would take a little time and just go over it again because it is just about any, it is the only paddle I use um, and I just love it whenever I'm giving lessons and stuff. Um, there are a lot of times where I suggest this paddle for different reasons. Um, whenever I started using it, I was really, really afraid of it. Um, I was like, I'm not high enough of a player. At the time, I was a 3-5 player. I was like, I'm not high enough of a player to be able to use a paddle that's this shape. Um, I'm going to miss a lot of balls. Like, I just had this outlook that it wasn't going to be a good fit for me. Um, I think I played one or two games and I was like, I love this paddle. I need one of these. This is what I want to play with. Um, so it did. It took me like a week, I would say, of playing to feel comfortable enough to play it, play with it in a tournament um, because it is a big difference, especially if you're, I think what I was playing with before was like a Titan. So let me grab this. Um, just the difference in the shape and the size. So you can see the difference of them. Um, so I would say that I'm a decently fast player, but for my age, I'm not necessarily fast, I wouldn't say. Um, I feel like my strength is my power as well as my um, consistency. I, you know, if I have a fast partner, um, they're definitely going to be the ones going for lobs and carrying more or um, covering more of the court. So one thing I noticed whenever I started playing with this is the increased reach. So if I put my hand out and I have to stretch for a ball, Whereas other paddles, I might not be able to reach them. This gives me just enough. You would think that just this much extra length would make a difference, but it does. I promise. It's so amazing. Um, so whenever I'm giving lessons and I have people that can't move as well or they're missing a lot of balls or tipping them off the end of the paddle, this is the first thing I go to because that is just something physical for them that they they physically cannot move around the court like other people can. Yeah, they might be able to read the other person's body language and try to figure out where the ball's going before it's hit, but for a lot of the level of players that I coach, that's not something that's going to come easily or very soon. Um, you know, I'm I primarily coach players anywhere from like the 2-5 level to 4-0 and I feel whenever I started picking up watching the body language of the other player uh, I was probably about a 4-0 player so I would love to start teaching higher levels um, but just in my area I don't see a lot of that a lot of those players so I'm working with the players around here primarily and so I think I've gotten two or three to switch to the Cypher, and they love it. Um, I'm amazed at how well they play. Um, and like I always tell them with the carbon fiber especially, you you might lose a little bit of your power, but you're going to gain so much consistency and control of the ball, especially if you're playing with like an indoor onyx ball, which is what a lot of people enjoy playing with around here. That's awesome. And then even for the ones that are starting to go on and play with the, um, the Duras, that changed everything for me going from like a fiberglass facing to this playing with the Dura. 
it was just completely different. I don't even like playing with fiberglass facings whenever I'm playing with the Dura because I just can't keep the ball in because I hit it too hard. So that's really, really great with um, the ciphers. Well, any uh, carbon fiber, really, but especially the cipher. Um, I love the sweet spot. So something else I wanted to talk, to talk about was uh, the length of the handle. So a lot of times, I don't know which one's my longest one here. Um, this one's pretty long. So this is the one I started with, and this is what I do uh, suggest for a lot of beginners, just because you have so much um, surface area for the face. Um, whenever you're learning, just getting the paddle on the ball is such a big deal for some people. So whenever I started playing, and I still do this, I always put my two fingers on the back. This is how I hold my paddle all the time. Unless sometimes if it's an overhead slam, I'll take those fingers off so I can really put some more power into it. But primarily, I am always playing like this. And if you guys can see with the end of the paddle, it's so long that whenever I try to do anything with my wrist, the end of this paddle is hitting my arm. So that's going to stop me from making the full motion that I want to make. Whenever I have this and I do that, I have that full range of motion because the handle's so short. Even if I were to hold my paddle like this, my hand fits on there fine. I mean, I feel like I have pretty average sized hands. So I love this because I get the extra length on the paddle, on the face, and it's taking away the handle length that I don't need and just gets in my way anyway. So I really like that. Um, and then the length of it, besides just being able to reach farther, I can put so much spin on the ball whenever I am playing with this. So what I do, the way I explain it to people, like whenever I'm serving, I put a lot of spin on it because I'm able to hit the ball here initially and kind of fling it off my paddle so that it puts, it's rolling down my paddle and I flick it so that it's putting that spin as it goes over the net. Um, I really, really like that about this paddle, but overall, I think a lot more people should give it a try. Um, I hear so many players say that I'm not interested in playing with a paddle like that because of the shape or because of the length or they just, they were like me and they don't believe that they have the ability to play with a paddle like this. But I think that if you give it a try, play a few games with it, you're really going to like it. Um, and especially with uh, Prolite coming out with the new designs and everything, I think there's going to be a paddle for everyone, um, a cipher for everyone. So that's really exciting. But overall, I just, I am in love with the cipher and I don't see myself straying away from it anytime soon. So I hope those little tips helped you guys out a little bit. And before too long, I'm going to start doing reviews for all the paddles. So stay tuned. Have a good week, guys. Thanks.